Hey there, friends, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld False God, Episode 7, Main Avenue. In the weapon mods, there are the, the sort of fire pot throwing. Yeah, that's right. That would be allowed, but um, there are no melee weapons allowed, or no ranged weapons allowed, so it's a little bit weird, because, um, oh, he is converted. Awesome. Because, uh, you know, it would be Amun-Ra or someone holding a ranged weapon briefly, temporarily. But just in order to, like, get rid of corpses. Alternatively, I suppose we could modify the game to be able to burn corpses on campfires or pyres or something. So that's uh, food for thought for future me. Or, alternatively, to have a electric crematorium that only Amun-Ra has access to, but that means that, like, he then would have to be the person to burn all corpses, which is... He's not Anubis, so that's not really his job. And since Mike converted meditation for him, yeah, I'll put meditation for him as well. Look at this avenue. Oh. Things are getting bought, too. Oh, they're buying a lot of weapons. Yeah, man. Just whatever you want. More visitors. Wait, I don't have space for you. Oh, boy. Map settings. Uh, refuse guests until new guest beds are built. Um, turning that on. So, one, two, three, four. Getting Macho and Mike to to build our new beds. And then I, I also want to give Mike the Ta Architect role, because he has earned it. He is now converted, and he's a 10 constructor. Gonna be expensive feeding these guys, aren't they? Oh, and giving birth to Iscandia. Congrats. You a donk wait, weren't you a donkey before Iscandia? I see a pattern growing. Okay, so we have beds for everybody now. Uh taking a look at the guests. Owl's the only one I'm able to recruit right now. A teetotaling brawler who doesn't do dumb labor. Um, do we recruit Owl? Keep in mind that if we vote yes, it means that all the other guests from the same faction become more difficult to recruit, and they're all from the same faction. So, going through them really quickly. Um, Gakum, Quick Sleeper, Gormon, Sickly. Lagua, fast learner, misogynist, misandrist. Basically, they're a misanthrope, meaning they hate everyone. Joko, psychically dull, fast learner, pretty. Um, okay, so clearly a very capable combatant. Uh, Tronka, uh, undergrounder, body monitor, uh, mining, and medical. Bonzo, volatile, sickly. Milkso, we've seen a bajillion times. This is their bajillion and oneth time revisiting. And then Owl, teetotaling brawler. And then there's now Antelope as well. Uh, Nimble Sickly. Very good at plants, crafting medical. And Biba. Underground are pretty and super likes to bash people in the face. I didn't really check their health, so some of their health is um, not great. But, uh, yeah. Them's the cast. Uh, Amara will never be involved in a, with another colonist. Bad weather. He's asexual. He'll never have a relationship with anyone else. By design. So it's a hypothetical which will never occur. I 
I forgot I had wooden guest beds down here. Cargo pods! Hippo leather landing on hippos. If only the cargo pods had hurt the hippos and it would be... Hippocalypse. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Not even a little. Uh, why are you meditating in there? Like, seriously. What is wrong with you? No one meditates in bath. Get out! Oh my god, there's so many people in there. You know there's occupancy checks. Can y'all just stop being gross and weird? Dear lord. They're just, uh, very sick. Porcelain god. Yeah, apparently they're, they're, you know, worshipping the porcelain throne. I don't know what to say. So this art is closing in to being done after morning meditation. So we have two animal grass out of 18 we require. This isn't for focus, it's uh, it's just for grass. And given that I need them to do other things, I'm only going to have them do two hours of grass. Meditation in the morning. So the, f oh wow, that is a, it's crummy, but it's cool looking. It's real crummy. So there we go, the guests are pleased by, oh, what happened to you? Are you unconscious <laughs> due to bad hy hygiene and malnutrition? Oh, dear lord. Rescue. Maybe I can actually get credit for rescuing them. And... Uh, let's feed them. And cure their asthma. Um. Right. One thing that is overdue is Mike's role change. So I'll get that going in a minute. And Biba has joined... Oh, uh... Yeah, Biba is now able to move again and joins the guests again. Which is funny, because, um... Because Biba was unconscious, but still, I... Oh, no, my accommodations for Biba sucks. And rightfully so. Got so hot, he passed out. So there is the poll for do we recruit Owl. He's the only guest recruitable at the moment. Uh, teetotaling brawler who doesn't do dumb labor. So would likely join Brady in a dedicated brawler role. Uh, and it's uh, left up to you. I'm really hoping any of the future marble sculpture art is better. Oh, more sprouts. And these sprouts aren't so far to get to. How's Macho doing with his, um... Oh, he's no longer an addict. That was quick. <laughs> You're no longer an addict, Macho. You won't take care of those sprouts. I'm gonna keep a close eye on you, Mr. Likes the drug of the gods a bit too much. And a gift. And these guests have been awesome. Alright, looks like no owl. Three grass.
Mike, you are due for a roll change. You converted, you did all that you needed to. So marvelous, Mike, you're going to become a Ta Architect. And Shell Bell, Macho, and Amun Ra will attend. Awesome. I think I'm probably done um, mining this out for now. I don't really need more. Locust needs help. Brinbra, holy chief of the nudists that have been v visiting these so often, has a friend who's interested in learning about my culture and wants me to host for eight days. Must keep the mood above 40%. And those are the rewards. Side trainer stun, hyperweave, or goodwill. Do we host? Yes or no? Oh, you know what? I can only have one ta... Ah, uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm gonna put it back to Macho. Um, I'm just gonna dev menu for my own ignorance. Remove. What is it? Roll. And then Shell Bell can. Um, counsel him. I won't use dev menu to to remove the the negative mood. I'll just use counsel. But yeah, I didn't realize I could only have one. Sorry, Mike. It's not like the brawler role, which we can have two. It's good to know that it's like special in that way. Oh, there we go. Another poor sculpture. Stop hitting me up with poor sculptures. You're killing me. Sorry, Mike. Well, you're special in my eyes. <laughs> Here we go for sculpture number three. Hopefully you're getting better at art. I really hope you are. Because it so far has been depressingly bad. Simple. Here we are with our uh, Drago Tree Q. I think what I'll do with um, with my illustrious leader is have them run out here and just cut down some of the things that are sitting around out here to be harvested. And then some hauler will come by and haul it in or I'll caravan it or something. Very, very briefly, we had a surplus of wood and then that surplus went bye-bye like overnight. And it wasn't even Thrumbo to blame. Just base expansion. Okay, so you guys think we should host. What reward? Hyperweave? Stun Trainer? Or Goodwill? Just give you a minute to vote on that. Nice quick pull. I like the Aurora. See the sky turn in colors. Oh, really? Come, come, come on. That's just terrible luck. Ow. I feel so cheated. So, so cheated. Now I'm unconscious. Watch them just like kidnap me. Can you believe that? I'm a 300 by 300 tile map and they like teleported on my head. <laughs> All right, he has five hours. All right, stun trainer, copy that. No new series. Rad gets revenge. That's what happens now. Slice him up!
That was so rude. I mean, I know it can happen, but like, my goodness. Literally teleported upon me. All right, Shell. Kill them. Uh, they are part of the Confederacy, so they're permanently hostile. So Quail, Gourmand and Greedy, yeah, you don't get to live. I will strip you, though. But no living for you. He's alive! This was not him. Okay, come on, Shelbell. It was not him dying. It was a test of faith of whether people would rally. He was never really at risk. This was a test. And my followers passed said test with flying colors. Aurora colored flying colors. Quite literally there. I can't believe that, though. Minding my own business, cutting down some trees, and all of a sudden, raid party! Yeesh. Well, <clears throat> survived it. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, Preach Health, so he's just gonna have to rough it for a bit. Make sure that Macho doesn't bleed. Amon Ra is no longer incapable of walking. Still others need treatment, but it's just bruises. It's not that big of a deal. Although getting Shell Bell's uh, medic skill up is not terrible. I'm only making three simple meals at the time, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, the reason is it spoils really quickly. So if I make more than that, it just get spoiled from vegetables, so it's good to make it small batches. But you're right, I should make a few more than just three. It's it's that I have enough um, uh, milk-bearing yeah, animals that I'm making fine meals relatively often. Get back here. I'm trying to work drive you. <laughs> she runs away. All right, we got a little bit of art here. So, a very little art around. We're going to need a lot more art to fill the desires. We are working on that, but we're working on the roads first because I think that's going to speed us up considerably. What I could do is set one to marble, one to slate. Even set up uh, uh, additional cutters. You know, the base kind of looks like an onk a little bit, slightly. <laughs> he should not be harvesting right now. <laughs> he's he's pretty beat up. And almost everybody is healed from that fight except for Amun-Ra himself. He got jumped pretty hard. Uh, Meller Bode, if you're wondering if I'm going to play games, just in general, uh, the games that I play on the channel are determined by polling. So, any questions of, am I going to play X, Y, or Z, it is up to more you than me. So, I don't know. But if you want to propose games for me to play, there are actually is going to be an inbox for that in uh, uh, tomorrow. So if you're a subscriber of mine, you can propose games on Discord for me to play for the months of June and July. And that inbox will be open up very, very soon. That's something that interests you. Glad he didn't get taken? Yeah. 
Yeah, me too. So here is uh, the full information about that, about how series are chosen. All right, another piece of art. Oh, it's a little bit better. I'll stick it in the uh, in the ritual room. And a party we're throwing. Almond Ra's survival party. <laughs> That's what I'm going to assume, at least. But everyone knows the polls are rigged. It's funny, because I, I um, at least for the public poll, I do it as public-facing as possible, as little rigging as possible. So, uh, just to speak about the method, so you don't have to read an infographic. Um, for any viewer-driven content, there generally is a private uh, poll. So, here's how to, like... I'll give you two examples, and I'll try to talk about it as fast as I can. Um, in order to pick a RimWorld miniseries marathon, the 12-hour miniseries that I do once a month, the scenarios proposed by my Patreon patrons and, and Twitch subscribers. Uh, everybody is welcome to propose uh, one idea. Once I have everybody... I, I um, open up the inbox for those ideas to be proposed for about two weeks, and I collect all of them. Then I throw them into a Google form, everybody's idea that has been proposed. And all of the Patreon patrons and Twitch subscribers vote or are welcome to vote in that Google form. And then I take the top five from that form and post it to a public poll on YouTube where anybody and everybody can vote on the winner. So today is actually the um, second to last day to vote on that for May. Uh, but there is a pretty clear winner already. And then for other series to play, the types of games that I'm playing weekly. So this upcoming Thursday is likely to be going medieval. That is once every two months, I have my Patreon patrons and Swiss subscribers propose games for me to play. And it goes through the same exact process. They get shoved into a preliminary poll. The top five options pull out of that preliminary poll and get put on a weekly poll where every week, every Thursday is a game of your choice, not mine, uh, for what I should play. So that's sort of how the, how the, um, you know, all of that works. That way, I incorporate your guys' feedback about what to play as much as I possibly can. You know, that is the sort of the most equitable um, that I could come up with. And also, some way to say thank you to... Because there's... <laughs> I really can't thank you enough. I mean, the amount of support that I receive from all of you as a content creator is absolutely insane. But one of the reasons I quote unquote paywall it is what else do I, <laughs> what else can I give back to the community, especially to those that, that sub and give subs and all that. So yeah, that's the process, but it's all written out if you wanted to read it. And yeah, it's a process that I think works pretty well. I hope. So yeah, if you want to suggest things, the way to do it is to do it through Discord or Patreon. Um, I Anytime there's a submission open, I make a post on Discord and make a post to Patreon. And, and if you're a Twitch subscriber and you want access to that, join Discord and then go to the Roll Assignment channel and it will tell you how to link your Twitch to Discord to unlock uh, private channels that are for for Patreon patrons and Twitch subs only. I feel like uh, we're only building half this road. It's really interesting to see what RimWorld does in terms of how it prioritizes uh, construction projects because this makes so very little sense. Like if I wrote code myself, not to say that I could make RimWorld, I mean, this is a marvel of coding. It would not be to make the right side first. Like that is so arbitrarily strange. But that's what Macho's working on. He's just like, you know what? Right side first. That's what's important. Where are you going? Oh, you're hauling wood. All right, something I should probably do to Shell Bell is for her to do 
a considerable amount of tree cutting out here so I can actually get my wood quantity up. But then to really be careful hanging out near the edge of the map, because the last time I was out here, I got ganked pretty hard by that raid party. That was um some of the worst luck I've ever seen. Just like, oh, sorry, wrong place, wrong time. You get hit by lightning. Bye. Rimworld is not always fair. And it's pretty hilarious when it isn't. But I think cutting all this, um, cutting all this stuff should, once hauled, allow me to not sweat having to refuel stuff for a bit. Don't take me. I know. Well, I didn't let them take Amun Ra. I'm not going to let them take you if I can help it. So who are these new visitors? Scorpion and Lamaxi, or something. So you are chemically okay. No, I hate chemically fascinated. But ascetic and gay, that would be a really good one. Actually, really good. Given um, asceticism means like raw food's fine, no problem. And then um, plants. I think someone else was gay already, or maybe I didn't end up recruiting them. No, it was the one I really wanted, the tough gay brawler, if memory serves. Um, one of the sad things about having um, gay pawns is how difficult it is, because of how unlikely they are to have that trait, how difficult it is to get them into relationships because they're usually alone, which is sad. So anytime I have one, I try to aim to get another one so that they can be happier. We can let me change the chemically fascinated Grimond. Equally hated. Good. Oh, maybe I should work on my symmetry here, huh? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a little unfortunate that the uh, that gay pawns hit on straight ones, or anyone hits on Amon Ra, who's you know asexual. I get that like it would happen once, but I feel like Rimworld should design a flag in code, which is like they turn me down, and it's not for preference; it's for sexuality, so that it doesn't repeat. Because I feel like um, you know if you were if you hit on someone who is asexual and they were like, sorry, I don't date. I'm asexual. Maybe the only time they ignore that flag is if you were like hammered drunk. Like, but otherwise you would never try it twice. That that makes a lot more sense to me than just like, every day I get flirted on and I have to turn them down because, you know, I'm asexual or something and I will never ever... It, <laughs> ever be interested. Yeah. Rimworld's a little weird but like that, but it's just the way it is. Maybe maybe someone will actually code that in, in code. Or maybe that's something I could code at some point. Um, if I ever thought necessary. Hey, buddy. Some peanuts for you. So, this Avenue project was... Uh, which was rather involved, but I think it will look lovely when it's done, so I'm... I suppose... Oh! Uh, who? Amun-Ra, go grab that! <laughs> the tribals dropped their glitter world beds! Yeah, it makes no sense. I love it, but it makes no sense. Yeah, there are mods that remove sexuality as a, as a thing. I can see that being, um sensible, honestly. Alright, so how it's... It, uh, I think we have an abundance of marble now, so I will work on slate. And you, sir... Go back to something else. 
Could be hauling in wood. Hauling in slate takes a lot of labor because it's so far away. Oh, more guests. I'm going to say, um, don't allow new guests. I'm going to turn it off for a bit. So let's take a look at these guests, the new ones. You are a great guest. Fast walker, teetotaler, ascetic, who brawls real good. Spider, plants, wimp, great memory, misogynist. Oh, you'd be pretty good, too. Tronka, I think we looked at. Yeah, the undergrounding modder who mines. And then teetotaling brawler, owl. We already voted no on owl. So if any of them come up, as oh owl's recruitable already because he has friends but if any of them come up as recruitable i'll pull for it other than owl because we already passed on owl he is not superb we should change that everybody flirts with Ra. <laughs> so if we're standing here do we have enough art very little art around. Wait, 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 come on. There is tons of art around. We're we're gonna have to shove an insane amount of art into this colony to fulfill that art desire. I mean, I'm okay with that. Like, that's a really good challenge, but the amount of art that they're, like, demanding is... seems absurd to me. Should we give Al a chance? Sure. Um, should we give... Owl a chance. The other, the, the only thing I'm going to mention when giving Owl a chance is if we recruit anyone from that faction, uh, our chance of recruiting anyone else goes down because we will offend them. So recruiting Owl puts us at basically not going to be e easily able to recruit any of the other guests, which like Choco here might be a better one. Cyclically Doll, Fast Learner, and Pretty might be a better choice than Owl. Um, the reason is, when you recruit someone, it will harm your relationship with the faction that they came from, making it harder to recruit subsequent, um, people. So, it isn't, uh, it isn't, it's not like Zero Sum or whatever. Oh boy, I have a lot of corn. Who was the one that visited a lot that we wanted to recruit? Uh, they haven't been back in a while. I forget their names. But yeah, that's something to think about. Is is there someone that we want? Oh, uh... Did you guys vote on the stun? Can someone remind me what we voted on for the reward here? For hosting? I know that we voted to host, but I don't rem remember the reward. It was stun? Okay. I like how um, Locus here dropped down from the sky. Oh! You are... helping? Dude! That is awesome! I host you and you work. Amen. That's fantastic. I'm gonna make you work in the kitchen, though. Gonna kind of suck for you, because you, you you appear naked. Well, actually, I don't have a freezer, so that doesn't really matter. Makes no difference to you, I suppose. Alright, here's that avenue. This thing is going to take me all of the time. One of the other issues is just the pathing is really tough because of the caldera, and we haven't drilled out uh, tunnels in the caldera, so trying to get to the stuff out here just takes a long time. It's a lot of walking. No owl. Huh. Well, we I pulled for owl twice, and it was no twice, so... Don't think I'll be asking again.
people on the whole have been pretty happy about staying here and about the city. We haven't had a lot of mental breaks, which is pretty good. I mean, a lot of the precepts that I, um, I'm using definitely make it very easy to have happy people because lots of beautiful buildings or low expectations or, you know, the u uniformity of, like, believing in our ideology makes them happy. Cheers. Did you just charm him on the toilet? Just room world things. Deeply disturbing room world things. Oh man. The things you see in room world boggles the mind sometimes. Like charming others on, on the toilet. It's hilarious. Oh, they just did it again. I think Macho just did it again. I'm watching you, Macho. <laughs> what I do find interesting is despite the fact that the guest room is a barracks and despite the fact that their toilets are just like holes in the ground, their expectations are so low that they just don't care. Um, do we recruit Tronka? Yes or no? So this is another person that has the friends requirement. So they're a minor, bit of a doctor, not a lot else going on uh, with a leg scar. I just figured I'd pull for it because it's technically recordable. The one I think would probably be best, Choco, is three-fourths of the way there. So pretty close. And a reminder, she has no health conditions, is a fast learner, pretty cyclically dull, and passion about mining, construction, and melee. God, I love that they buy stuff. Awesome way to get rid of my trash. Oh, don't clog it. Oh, come on, guys. And a gift of gold. All right. Looks like... Trunk is going to be a no, but I think they're leaving. Bye, Choco. Maybe she'll be back and I'll be able to recruit her some future time. A body modder on primitive is a little weird, yeah. I, I'll grant you that. It's a little strange. Which of the guests are still here? Unhappy. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, that's, that's my fault. <laughs> You're a locust. You can actually sleep where, you know, indoors and all that. Pissed her right the heck off. Schedule. You are going to recreate. I don't want to fail this one if I can help it. I might, I might just speed this up in Caravan Shell Bell. At some point, it might be wise for us to go raid lumber camps so that our um, insatiable need for wood is at least temporarily satiated. But for now, just... Caravan harvesting stuff is going to be have to be the uh, the solution here. It's pretty fast because then I just redraft her and load it all up and then haul it back. I think it'd be a little bit better if she wasn't holding a two kilogram club, but whatever. She does what she wants. Have her grab slate chunks, too? Uh, they're very, very heavy. Doing this for chunks, slate specifically, is not that efficient because of how heavy it is. But for other materials, it makes sense.
lighter materials. Textiles and the like. Although she's going to have a mental break if I have her do much more of this, so i got to be careful about that. Okay. That's a good, like, 200 wood that we didn't have before. Uh-oh. Where are the cougars? Oh, there's just two of them? You mean a cougar threesome? <laughs> so, three hundred thirty five wood. Not bad. Not bad at all. And then I have my brawlers here. I'm not going to shy away from the man honors. Let them come fight me. Thunk. Ha! Body be gone. Oh, and it's career rotten and it didn't even rot. Second one rotted. Not bad, guys. Not bad. I'm going to make sure to move this corpse out of the door so that if we need to... Um, Close these doors, they can be closed. Because a corpse propping up the door sucks. Well, the avenue is getting art. It's a slow process, and I don't have too much time left. I think what I'll do is I'll play until the avenue that has yet to be paved gets paved. And that will be my calling it point. Animal Grass is almost halfway. Almost. Oh, I missed one. So much milk. Yeah, there's a lot of milk out there that... Well, there's actually only six of it. They're tiny little stacks. I'm assuming that I've been grabbing it for fine meals. Whoa, I had 300 wood a second ago. It's all <laughs> gone now. You really take living in a, like, a forested biome for granted until you have to plant your own drago trees, and then it's, it's really grueling. Are we gonna go for staff weapons? Uh, well, there's, um... A lot of rules about that already. So I don't think I need to answer that. I think it looks a little bit better with the, um... The slate underneath the art, because the art makes it look like rich soil, which is really confusing. Now we can have up to four stone cutters. It's probably a very common employment for Egyptians back in the... well, or slaves uh, back in the, those times. But that avenue is almost done. Getting pretty close. 
The amount of running for these slate, though, is is rough. Now, there are some slate mountains that we can start to cut down, as long as there's not overhead mountain. Um, so I could start mining this to cut down the commute to be able to get stones. And then it would also add to the total area that we could build in, in the... Um, in this caldera. So it's not a bad call, given how fast um, that Macho mines. I'm going to reduce Mike's mining priority, though. And just let Macho do it. So when there's nothing to construct with Macho, uh, he'll shave the mountain a little. When I have a surplus of wood, I'll also widen the bridge. I know that it's missing the five wide corridor that we have. And maybe eventually have it be braziered up like the whole road so it lights up at night. Something pretty glorious to look upon. We're almost there. It's also a little weird that it stopped short here, but I, I wanted to make this ritual room larger, so that's why it's not encompassing this whole area yet. Well, seeing that I'm close to the end of the stream, how do you guys feel so far? What do you guys... Do you, do you like the aesthetic? Do you like the design and the scenario? It'd be cool if it was a Gwauld run. I might do one of those in the future. You never know. Can't wait for a golden road? Me too. I can't wait to really be wealthy. The true meaning of um, glorious city. So there we go. The avenue. Oh, no, I have a little bit more pathing to do on the avenue. Two more spots. I think these two statues make the most sense, like, right outside of the ritual room anyway, so I'll probably end up moving them, as they look like Anubis guards. I think that's what they're modeled after. Oh, this filled up. I'll also consider having fueled crematoriums or some uh, reasonable alternative for mass corpse uh, containment. The amount of corpses that we already have is overwhelming. Well, friends, that is officially all the time I have. You've been watching RimWorld Falls God which originally streamed live on Twitch May 8th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like more information about this series, it can be found in the description of this video. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to become involved in my gaming community, Rodamont.com or the description of this video have a link to Discord. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Take care, fellow Ammonite.